Amidst a raging war between Russia and Ukraine, reports of Moscow running out of missile stock have emerged. The reports have raised doubts over the Kremlin's ability to sustain its missile attacks on Ukraine in the days to come. According to media reports, the sanctions imposed by the West have blocked Russia's access to the electronic components required for producing more of the precision-guided standoff missiles that helps in attacking targets precisely. With reports of Russian missiles running out of stock, speculations of Moscow procuring missiles from Iran have become rife. U.S. media reports suggest that Tehran is preparing delivery of short-range Fateh-110 missiles to Moscow. Fateh, a surface-to-surface missile, is known to be equipped with terminal guidance that offers more strike accuracy and has a range of almost 300 kilometers, which makes it well-suited to take out many targets inside Ukraine. Reports also suggest that Iran may send the Zolfagar missiles as well. However, Tehran has denied claims of supplying weapons to Russia to be used in Ukraine. Russia's reported procurement comes in the backdrop of the U.S.'s announcement of sending more air defense weapons to Ukraine. The U.S. has already provided hundreds of armored vehicles, 155 mm howitzers, and thousands of Javelin anti-tank and Stinger anti-aircraft weapons to Ukraine. The FGM-148 Javelin is a self-guided portable anti-tank missile system. The missile flies straight up and then propels down on the target in a top attack mode. Javelin's mode of target acquisition and initial smokeless release has proved invaluable to Ukrainian fighters. It allows them to target Russian vehicles from a distance of four kilometers and then flee before inviting counter fire. Washington has already provided 20 advanced high mobility artillery rocket systems, the HIMARS, to Ukraine and has promised 18 more. The Pentagon has said it will also deliver the first two national advanced surface to air missile systems to Ukraine in the coming weeks. The systems will provide medium to long range defenses against Russian missile attacks. Since Moscow's invasion began, the U.S. has already provided $16.8 billion in military aid to Ukraine. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.